Platinum End. Platinum End was an anime that featured a couple seasons ago from now, or whenever you're watching this. And let me tell you, I've been, you know, I it's been a while since it came out, and I watched it when it came out. But good lord, it's kind of, it's just a show that's been on my mind. Not, not because of its quality or anything like that, but because of how much of an absolute stinker it is. It is one of the absolute worst shows I've seen in my entire life. And I watch most of those garbage anime that come out. Let me tell you, I got a bit of a problem, I'll tell you that much. And this show, it tops the cake. It, but somehow, it had a satisfying... Like, satisfying isn't the right word, but an ending that was like, okay, watching this might not have been an awful time, but like overall it was. And I, it's just it's been making me thinking. So, I, you know, fair warning, I'm going to spoil this entire show. But you definitely should not watch it. This show is absolute fucking dog shit. Like, it is, it is very, very bad. I would not recommend it. This show is all about this, you know, premise. It's not like unique or anything. It's literally... Hey, a bunch of random Japanese kids, for some reason, were picked by God to become the next God. And they'd have, like, a weird little, like, battle and whatnot. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing unique. But it's the main character of this show that makes it unbearable. This guy is so annoying, so god-awful, that it's like, I, it, it was tough. It was tough to watch this sometimes, but, you know, it... <laughs> I don't know why I kept watching it. Me nowadays, I would have I would have quit, but you know, something about it made me keep watching it. The main character of this show, he's got oh, he's got the strongest dude. The, basically this whole show's premise is they've got these magic crystals that their little angel gives them. And depending on its like color, it has different uses. And of course our main character, he's got a white one. So he can do like pretty much everything and also like insta kill people. But our main character He's like, I don't want to kill anyone. Killing's bad. And it's like, oh my god. It gets so annoying at times. Because like, the entire show is just like a bunch of people using these powers for evil. And this guy just like, refusing to actually like, fight them. Or like, and whatnot. Just awful things happens all the time. Like there's this dumb scene in this like, big like, stadium where this guy who's like, super rich like, Batman type guy. Who's, like, who's the main villain for, like, half of the show, is like, oh, I'm gonna, like, kill everybody and be the only guy left, and then I'll be God. And it's, like, super... But And he has the same thing as the main character, and it's just like, oh, my lord. It is absolutely dreadful. And it's all... Oh, my God. There's, like, a whole stupid, like, long, drawn-out fight scene of, like, oh, I don't want to kill him, but I got the thing. And, oh, I don't want to die. Oh, this and that. And it's just a lot of whining and stupid nonsense. And the, and the thing that makes the show interesting, this is, you know, all that. Who cares about that? That's not interesting at all. The fights and whatnot, the drama. But the premise of the show is where it gets interesting. Because for some, which, I mean, it makes sense when you think about it as a whole. But God, for some reason, only picks people who are about to, like, you know, end themselves and like saves them and then is like hey go on this wild adventure to become god and uh you know the whole show i'm just like this is a very odd premise having a bunch of uh not right in the head mainly teenagers becoming god it doesn't seem like a great idea and you know the whole show i'm thinking this and i'm just you know watching it not very good once again want to reiterate not a good show don't watch it but this show it, it has the wackiest ending the middle doesn't really matter. Who cares about what happens throughout it? All that you really need to know, it's just a lot of filler, a lot of nonsense, a lot of not interesting stuff. I mean, it's not filler, but you know what I mean. And then it gets it gets to one point. You meet one character who they're all like, basically at a point there's like one team versus another team type thing. And our main hero's team are trying to pick who's going to be God. And they're all like debating about it. And like the main guy they pick is the most like wanting to off himself out of all of them he's like sitting in the corner like yeah i want to become god and like help everyone you know end themselves and it's like oh that's the guy that's who we're picking and so you know they have a big climactic final battle to like decide who's god and in the end they pick that guy and so he goes up becomes god and so the show this is you know this is the only reason i thought the show was even remotely interesting and, you know, it still doesn't make 
like it's kind of weird like i guess well I'll, I'll tell you about it but so basically kid becomes super super suicidal kid becomes god and he's like he's like god for a while and like time passes really quickly for him so like after like what feels like only a couple like minutes for him has actually been like several years so we see cutbacks to our main characters like living happy lives and whatnot and then he's up there he's like oh yeah i wanted to like help people kill themselves let me let me take a look and he starts looking about and he's like wait a minute like everyone's lives freaking suck and he's like dang this sucks and he just kind of he just decides like well i'm killing myself and i'm just like oh well i mean it makes sense like and all the angels are like no no don't do it don't do it i'm like oh huh? like was this not what they wanted like why would you pick this guy who like clearly does not want to live and be like you live forever and also you have to watch everyone else's suffering so of course this guy like literally the scene is honestly great in a way like literally the angels are all talking and they turn away from him for three seconds and he immediately hops himself like in the five seconds they look away it's crazy and i'm just sitting there the whole time like all right okay this is interesting and, just, and there's no like saving it there's no the show just ends like the whole universe dies the end and i'm like okay now that's interesting so like you know looking back you know i realize so it seems like from what i gather you know i'm i'm no expert i have no idea what i'm talking about i'm just gonna watch the show this is what i thought they were going for so f from what i understand the original like the the first god that starts this he for some reason also wants the universe to die i guess but didn't want to end himself like i don't understand like he because he's the one that picked like who was going to be chosen and so i assume like in the end this is what they wanted to happen but it doesn't like the angels clearly weren't down for it it's so they clearly were not happy that this happened and you know everyone everyone on the planet didn't seem super happy i mean our main characters were like well i saw this coming from a mile away not a shocker that this was gonna happen um and it was just kind of like very like like so was this <laughs> hypothetically speaking god's plan like god god's plan was uh, the end it all like i guess uh like it was just like weird like why why did the first god even bother like setting this all up why didn't he just do it himself that's the part i don't understand and then and then it's like what a weird way to go about this and like what are the writers thinking like what kind of story do they want to tell like what's the moral of the story like killing yourself is badass like i don't understand like what is the moral of this so i'm just i was just sitting back and you know as i mentioned i watched this a long time ago this has just been on my mind and you now i thought i'd hop on here uh talk about it maybe someone else would listen i don't really care but i was just dumbfounded by this show and i was just like wow that's something right there. That is something. And I don't really, you know, I'm not an intellectual, you know, it might shock you to hear that, you know, you don't, you don't know me much, but I imagine just <laughs> by the way I speak, it's not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not much of a thinker, but I'm just sitting here, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, huh, what is, like, what was the storyteller trying to tell us? Like, what was the moral of the story? And that's what I'm, I struggle wrapping my head around it, you know, like, I want to tell a story about a bunch of people that get saved from suicide but then in the end every single person on the planet dies from suicide so is it suicide's a bad thing like is it a good thing like i'm not really understanding what their moral of the story was supposed to be like you know i mean i'm in no place to speak i have no idea that kind of stuff but i'm just like confused about that i mean i think i get a general gist of the idea like i get like in universe i think i understand what's going on you know uh, for some reason they wanted the universe to end so they got or somebody I, I don't think they really explain well who wanted this to happen but somebody wanted the universe to end so they got a bunch of uh, people who wanted to end themselves to become God so he'd eventually end himself and end, end everything I get that but I the real world part of it is what confuses me because in, in the real world it's like why why tell a story like that you know like what, what was their goal and that's that's the part of it that confuses me i'm not really sure but yeah overall don't watch it never watch that show it's one of the worst i've ever seen um 
I mean, if you're curious after what I've described, I didn't spoil much of the show. I just spoiled, you know, the end, but everything in the middle, you know, I don't, I barely remember because it wasn't that interesting, to be honest, you know, but yeah, do not watch the show. It is insufferable to watch, but the ending is interesting and the premise is somewhat interesting. And that's the kind of the part I was uh, incentivizing, like not that word, uh, you know, talking about here. But yeah, don't think anyone's going to watch this, but you do, you know, hey, leave a like. But I, yeah, I don't really care. I was just making this for myself, really. 